Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to do the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the super full moon in Virgo Energies that is happening tomorrow on the 9th. And um, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, please go look at my um, my uh, my upload that was titled what is it um mini channeled message and fun facts something like that anyhow i just uploaded it a couple days ago go check that out because it will give you more insight into what the energies of the super full moon in virgo energies remember a super moon is like the regular energy amplified a lot Okay, so the regular energy of a full moon in Virgo is, uh, Virgo is a sign of service, right? So it's helping others, being on mission, it's, it's, it's action-oriented, you know, they are the doers of the zodiac. So it's going to be amplified times two. But when I ask Spirit, what do we need to know during the super moon? Um, I was told that the theme for this is how to get out of your own way. Okay, everybody in 2020, actually it started in 2018, but it's been different for everybody. But 2020 is a hugely transformative year for everybody. We are all leveling up, right, in our, in our life, in our family, in our finances, in our businesses, in our... Uh, creative expressions in our romantic uh, relationships and family and friends. And there's just so much transformation happening during this uh, 2020 year. It is, you know, um, the year of the twos, right? Twos, duality uh, and expansion. Going from one to two is expansion. All right, so that's the theme. Go check out that video. Uh, this is for Taurus. I just have a brief announcement. I'm going to be in um, Kalamazoo, Michigan next weekend. I believe it's the 16th. I don't don't know for certain. I don't have my calendar here, but it's next weekend, um, March 16th, I believe, and 17th. It's in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and it's called Body, Mind, and Spirit, I believe, Uh Psychic Expo, I will be there doing readings for the entire weekend. If you are local or if you're within driving distance and you would like to meet me in person, I would love to meet my tribe. I absolutely would love to meet you. So if you're if you're able to, come and see me. Um, I will not have the link until after I get all 12 Zodiacs uploaded because I'm in, in this you know phase of wanting it uploaded in time for tomorrow's energies so i will come back and edit and put it in after i get all 12 zodiacs up so if you don't see it now come back and check also k moon she's fabulous she reads the stars and i read the cards okay so i usually link her most recent video in the description box below so that you can check out her astrological um, insight when it comes to this uh, full super moon and um, I have a second channel this one's called TR's Tarot Talk 1111 that one's just Tarot Talk 1111 so check it out there will be a link below for that there will be a link if you'd like a personal private reading if you'd like to make a donation and if you would just like to chat comment in the comment section and i'm just going to get going here okay so taurus spirit what does taurus need to know to get out of their own way to achieve this upgrade this leveling up in their lives the mountain what mountain are they being called to and how do they get out of their own way so that they can get to the summit Bottom of the deck, solar plexus. This buddy's been showing up in a lot of the readings, guys. Just saying. Past, please. Present energies. Future. Oh. Ooh. Me thinks you guys got some work to do. Let's just take a look. All right, clarify the energies on the table, spirit. How does Taurus get out of their own way for a healing and an up-leveling? How do they reach their summit? 
clarify the energy on the table, please. Past, present, future. Wow, that was a bottom of the deck. I can't make this shit up, guys. You got the tower. All right, so buckle up, buttercup. Spirit's about ready to move you into some big healing. Big healings. Yeah, but oh man, I love that outcome. Okay, so let's just take a look at what we've got here. Bottom of the deck is the solar plexus chakra, okay? Underneath that is mental conflict, two of swords, and the star card, and the sun card. Wow, big, big, big shifts for you guys. Clarifying the solar plexus is the tower. Underneath that is the nine of swords, and solar plexus again, okay? Wow. Wow. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to tell you, when you get done watching my video, you need to go to YouTube and look for solar plexus chakra healing clearing videos, okay, to help you with this, because this is important to your spiritual growth. Past energies, we have the nine of wands, spir um, spiritual strength, with the moon card, which in this deck is called confront. This is confronting your inner child. This is looking at the shadows of your upbringing, ancestral patterning, um, things that happened to you in previous lifetimes and in this lifetime that you are going to have to face. You're going to have to face. You're going to have to dance with that child. You're going to have to heal. And I, I'm telling you, there's some big energy here for Taurus, guys big energy. In the now moment, you're being told to choose wisely. Seven of cups with the three of cups, which is share the love. So I like that you've got cups in the now moment. I really do. Because You know, I didn't set my intention for these to be romantic readings, but boy, I must have a lot of you that tune in that are on, on like this twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine, soulmate, love. Because look at this. You're, it's like this guy sitting on a pier, praying and meditating, trying to find his way forward. And spirits clearly showing them or speaking, you know, looking at the bigger picture. You got to get up here and look at the bigger picture to know which way to go. But I like that you're asking for guidance because you're clearly sitting on that. This person is sitting on the pier, reflecting and asking in prayer and meditation. OK, but what I'm seeing here is this heart that was broken is now being fused back together. OK, and it says share the love. I haven't been doing clarifiers, but I feel like I need to. I'm going to take these off the bottom. We've already got those energies. Spirit, show me the now energy. Clarify the seven and three of cups for me, please. Thank you. Healing begins. Okay, I get it. Got the message. Got the message. Okay, so... You're just healing. This is a huge, huge healing for you. This is to, in order to get out of your own way, you're going to have to go within. You're going to have to go within. You've had a tower moment. You've been stuck in fearful thoughts. I feel like I don't see the two of swords here, but I feel, excuse me, the energy of the two of swords. I feel like there was a choice you had to make. Oh. That seven of cups says choose wisely. That's what the energy I'm feeling is. 
Six of Swords. A lot of heart chakra stuff going on, guys. Solar plexus and heart. Look at the tower. She's got her hands over her heart. This is healing. Okay, something, something, something big activated you. There is a ending. There was divine intervention somehow, some way, and it has to deal with your heart and your childhood. Old programs that no longer serve you. This is mending your heart. Look at heart mending. Look around her heart, heart mending, heart mending. And look at your outcome. You've got the moon again, which in this deck is all about shadow work. Okay, it's there's something. Divine intervention has happened, and there's some healing around this. Some major spiritual strength healing happening around this. And I, I believe it has to do with romance for some of you guys. If it doesn't, then it's definitely around your heart chakra. Because the outcome, look at clarifying your shadow work, is the lovers, guys. It's you, Lovers used to be called the choice card. So there's something going on with choosing something or someone you love. I feel like you've really been struggling. And it's not over yet, but Spirit's trying to give you all the tools that you need. There's a lot of major arcana here. Just saying. You've got the sun. You've got the star. There's that two of swords. I knew I felt that. I forgot I said two of swords. Yeah, there is a decision that needed to be made around two different situations. And you, you know, something is falling apart. Something has fallen or is falling apart. And it's because you didn't know your value, you didn't know your worth. You built something you thought was foundational that spirit's tearing down because it did not serve you. And it, it was it had to do with things from your past that that you needed to be clearing and healing and, and so a lot of big, big energy shifts for you around emotions and the heart chakra. But the outcome is the lover's card, guys. That's beautiful. Let's get some clarity on this. I want some advice on the past energies for Taurus, please. Past energies for Taurus. One more, please. Clarifying the past energies. Thank you. Yeah, there's the world again. The world. And there's another peer. A lot of water references. Water for me is energy in motion, emotions, right? It's an activation. And this is like clearing out old cycles. You are coming to a completion of a cycle. There's the moon again. You've got three moon cards, guys. Three moon cards. Moon for me is a Pisces energy um, or a Cancer. Could be Scorpio. Um, but it's definitely around emotions. It's 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 water energy. Water and the moon controls the water. And we are like, what, I don't know, 80, 90% water, our human avatar. So a lot of moon energy. This moon is, you guys might be doing some purging, some crying, some re reveling, you know, some real deep inner emotional healing work is going to be working during this full moon for you. If you need help with this, please reach out because this, it's it's not bad. It's beautiful. There's beautiful energy on the table. You are being divinely guided. This is necessary to get out of your way. This is necessary. This is blocks coming down, okay? For some of you, this is your deepest fear, too, that something you built that you've been clinging to and not wanting to come tumbling down is coming down. But it's necessary. 
and and this is going to open your heart chakra and heal it so that you can love yourself and others fully so how do you get out of your own way you got to do the work man you've got you know the moon also for me it's like i was i'm a double cancer okay cancer sun cancer rising and then i'm a virgo moon and a virgo venus so i i hope this isn't a message for me too this is for taurus but there's a lot of energy i don't even know if i have taurus in my chart i'd have to look but guys the moon for me is about intuition it's like you know it's easy to navigate under the sun and under the stars right that's illumination and you've got the sun and the stars so you're working towards your your healing and your happiness and love love for yourself and love for others but the moon is about doing the shadow work the moon is trying to navigate without a lot of light It's like, have you ever gone for a walk at nighttime where there's no street lights and there's just the moon to guide your way? Trees and bushes can look like monsters. The path can, you can be led astray. You can take a wrong turn. But how do you navigate you navigate through your intuition you know have you ever gone for a road trip used to be you know we had to use maps to find our way around yes i'm that old but now we have gps okay but i have gone on road trips where my gps my phone didn't receive signal and i got lost and i had to trust my intuition because i was out where there was no stores or gas stations, nobody to ask. And I couldn't get guidance with the GPS, so I had to trust my intuition. That's not easy, guys. It's not easy. But if you really, really tune in, you can do it. I did it. I found my way to, to maybe not to where I was headed, but to where I needed to be. So this is you navigating through your shadow, through the darkness, not really sure where you're going or how you're going to get there, but you are so divinely guided. So trust your intuition because you're being moved into calmer waters and the healing is beginning. And you're going to be able to choose whatever this choice is. Through this healing, you're going to finally be able to choose. You're going to have to do some solar plexus healing. But the outcome, look at that beautiful. So let's clarify the now energy. Spirit, can we clarify the now energy? The energy that Taurus is sitting in. Clarify this. Spread the energy on the table. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Reflect on your truth. Okay, because that's how you're going to choose wisely is by knowing your truth, not other people's truth, not what other people tell you, not what other people guide you to. If you're watching a lot of YouTube videos, I'm grateful you're here, but I think Spirit's telling you, you need to go within. You need to stop asking everybody else for guidance and trust your intuition because there's hidden treasure here, okay? The moon three times, that's some hidden shit. But, I, but it's within you. It's not external to you. So you need to reflect on your truth in order to make this, this, this head over heart decision, is what I'm seeing, in love. Whether it's, you know, a romance or if it's love for self or love for your job, love for family, you're going to have to go within. You, you can't keep asking other people to choose for you you're going to have to go within yourself to choose for yourself one more please thank you look at there's gold in that mountain that you're trying to go up right how do you get out of your way you're gonna have to do the work 
it's funny I just told you don't go without external now you've got professional assistance so you know maybe you've been getting professional assistance maybe you've been asking for help maybe you've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and tarot readings and and you've gotten some enlightenment but now it's time to integrate that and in spirit says have some fun this is some heavy shit. So when you get to the other end of this, this is two sevens, by the way. You have another seven on the board. And this goddess of the moon is five plus one, which is a seven. <laughs> and the tower is a seven. Six plus one. Yeah, there's a lot of sevens on the board, okay? So look up the spiritual meaning of seven. Seven is, is um, for me as a reader, seven is around destiny right? Not like the eight is, but seven is about figuring it out. Seven is about, you know, lucky sevens is, is, um, ser it's, it's not just your work. It's serendipity. It's, it's, it's help from the divine. You got nines here too. Three nines. Let me see. Nine, 10, 11, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 6 and 3 is 9, plus a 9, plus an 18, which is a 9, plus another 18, which is a 9. Yeah, so big, big, big spiritual shifts for you during this full moon. So when you get to the other end of it, you're going to need to go out and have some fun. Just saying, do the work. I feel like a purge is on the way. Like you're going to have you a nice cry. You might have a tower moment. You might have some epiphic. Uh, you know, a lot of shadows coming up for healing. But when you get to the other side of this, you've got the sun, you've got the star, you've got healing, and you've got joyous fun. So you're going to need, when you get to the other side of this, you're going to need to do some self-care. Go laugh, have fun, do things. Look at all that. This is just, look at the twins. Right there, guys. Twins. And look at the mother-daughter. It's like... You're going to see all of this duality. You're going to see. This is going to be very healing for you. So choose wisely. Choose wisely. I'm hearing that you need to choose what makes you happy. Choose what makes you happy. So if you're in a relationship and it doesn't make you happy and there's somebody else that's come along that does make you happy, you need to choose your happiness. If you're at a job that doesn't make you happy and you're getting offered a job that will make you happy, but maybe it doesn't pay as much, you need to choose your happiness. Know your truth and seek hidden treasures. See, when you do all this shadow work, Everything that's hidden within you gets healed and comes out to light, and, and they truly are treasures. And it's building your spiritual strength. It's telling you to share the love. Big healing here, guys. Big healing. Big healing. I love you. I hope this has resonated. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. Know that it's just a cycle, right? It's just this moon. You know how many purges I've done in the last year? Oh my God. I think I get to the end of it and I get hit again. So, you know, just hang in there because the outcome is the lover's card and joyous fun and, and healing, huge transformational healing. Okay, don't forget to do some solar plexus chakra healing too. All right, I love you guys. If you need me, links in the description box, okay? Namaste.